what the evidence shows is that competence interviews are very predictive of future job success. What they're looking for are examples of you having done the things that they are looking for in that, uh, uh, that are essential for that job. Most companies have somewhere in the region of 8 to 11 different competencies but you can actually cluster them together. So in our experience, you can cluster them into three broader areas. So all, all jobs require an element of uh, working with and interacting with people. So there would be some people-related competencies. There would be some competencies that relate to your ability to think. So that would be around thinking ahead and planning and, uh, and thinking strategically. And then there are some competencies that relate uh, to you being able to do things. So those would be the task-related competencies. That's about getting things done. In terms of the, the, those, those categories, I would say they're around people, thought and task. So a task-based question, for example, would be a question where the interviewer asks you, give me an example of a time where you had to uh, deliver a piece of work to some very tight time scales. And what the interview will be looking for there is how you went about trying to deliver that piece of work. There are words such as targets or organise or execute or budget that, that would relate to task related questions. The model to have at the back of your mind is, is CAR and that would uh, stand for the circumstances. So what are the circumstances of the situation that you're talking about? A stands for what are the actions that you took and R what, what were the outcomes or the results? The interviewer will tend to be asking open questions, so that will encourage you to talk. Um, try to avoid giving single word answers. A thought-based question is geared to finding out about what your approach to solving more conceptual problems are. What they're looking for is your ability to, to think about situations, to analyse information, to look at how you structure your thinking and how you come to conclusions. So a thought-based question would, uh, would, would have words in it such as innovate, create, problem solve. Those are the sorts of word that, words that should trigger a, a thought-based question. So typically at, at graduate level with thought-based questions, the interviewers will be looking at your capacity to, to think rather than how you might encourage that at other people. So again, you should respond in terms of I and what is it that you have actually done. So people-based questions are geared towards finding out about how you work with and interact with other people. Teamwork, relationships, communication, cooperation, those, those would be people-related words. So you would show high-level people-based competencies, first of all, by demonstrating your ability to interact with people effectively. Now, I think that breaks down in, in, into two different aspects really. There's obviously the outward communication with individuals, but there's also that essential component of how good am I at understanding and relating to other people? So how good am I at reading people? How good am I at being able to put myself in other people's shoes? So that, that emotional intelligence aspect that's so important in human interactions and employers will be looking for that. So a competency are, are the skills and qualities that are required for effective performance in a, in a job. That they're not about what you do, but they are about how you do it. So think of competencies as the adjectives in a sentence. They define what a noun is. Mm -hmm.